Hi everybody and welcome to Unique Life Japan. It's Ume shoe making season. It's super easy and in this video I'm going to show you what you need and how you can make it at home. So let's get started. Umeshu is um, Japanese plum wine. Ume is Japanese plum and Umeshu is plum wine or plum liquor. Super easy to make and uh, you just need four ingredients, four main ingredients. That is of course the plum itself. You need a jar, uh, preferably airtight, but it's not so important. Uh, you can buy these. You need what is called korizato, which is essentially sugar that looks like ice cubes. And you need uh, a strong alcohol. Uh, it needs to be more than 20%. Uh, usually they sell them in 35 or even more. Essentially, you mix them all up and let them stay for one, one to three months and then you can already try them. Um, all of these ingredients you can buy in, if you live in Japan, you can buy them all already packed uh, in Japanese supermarkets. Uh, if you live near a Inaka place, you might be able to get fresh and unpackaged, not packed uh, plants. Uh, all the others, they are, kind of, they are essentially made for you to just mix them up and let them stay. So they are pre-packaged and um, ready to go. But there are a few things that you do need, really need to take care of. So let's get started one by one and make sure you get the tastiest to make sure you can. So let's start with the plum, the most important ingredient uh, in, this, in this process. Um, you need to make sure of a few things here. First, try to buy them as raw as possible. The greener, the better. Uh, and once you buy them, don't wait too long because they will ripen even in your, in your refrigerator. A refrigerator is still better than in the open, but try to use them as soon as possible. Buy and make. Super easy. The next thing is you want to make sure that they are not damaged. So when you're in a supermarket or at, at, the, at the market, just check for, for like scratches and damages and uh, buy the one with the least uh, and possibly no damages whatsoever. Um, once you open them, there are, um, there are these small remainders of stems that are left. Uh, remove them from each and every single one of them. And after you've done that, uh, the next step is going to be to clean the plums. You just um, throw them in water, give them a little bit of a rinse, and um, and let them maybe stay in for a few seconds. You take them out, you clean up each uh, each one of them, and leave them to dry for maybe 20 to 30 minutes. And that's it. The uh, plum is ready to go after this. The next important part is the liquor itself. Um, anything above 20% will work. Uh, but if you live in Japan, you can get these these boxed liquors uh, that are specifically made for uh, for, for um, any type of fruit liquor making. In fact, on the side of the bottle, you can see instructions on how to make other liquors than uh, umeshu. There's even a um, a garlic liquor that you can make at the end so um, go ahead and try it if, if you're interested in these things uh, this video is about meshu so uh, you can use any uh, hard liquor that you want as long as it's 20 percent and in fact i'm going to make four jars so i have um, i want to try different tastes i have this umeshu, umeshu liquor box i will use one with vodka i'll make one jar with white rum and at the end i will make one jar with uh, decent tequila. I want to taste how uh, I want to see how uh, they taste if there's going to be any difference and um, I want to have multiple jars that I can build over the years So uh, let's go to the next step. So the next important part is um, the Corizato That is this uh, sugar that looks like ice cubes. Um, I'm sure it doesn't need to be this in uh, this shape i'm sure you can use normal sugar however once you pour in the mixture you're supposed to layer it this gives a nice cushion between the layers and the interesting thing all of these components come with instructions and so does this um, corizato it also uh, tells you how to make <laughs> how to make the uh, umeshu 
and uh, gives you ideas uh, and recipes. The sugar, as far as I understood, is only for uh, for taste, to make it uh, more sweet and less, less bitter or less sour. In fact, I'm going to make one jar, an experimental jar with honey. You can try this as well. Uh, I'm going to mix tequila with a little bit of with a little bit of um, uh, uh, of pumps and um, mix it with honey and see how you know how will it mix, what kind of taste will we get. So um, uh, we can come back to that in about three months or one year when uh, when this will be uh, when, when the process will be finished. Uh, the, as for the amount of sugar, uh, there are various instructions. Um, some um, some instructions will tell you to go with uh, with a whole kilogram. Some instructions will will tell you to go as low as two hundred grams. I've tasted um, some homemade umeshu made with um, about one bag of this sugar. I think it's too sweet, so I'm going to make uh, to make it with six hundred grams only. You of course do it by your taste. Um, the same thing with the honey. Uh, I'm going to make. Um, I'm going to gauge how much I make, uh, how much uh, I put into this. Uh, I don't want it to be too sweet. I don't want the honey to overshadow the yuma flavor. I would just like to see if it gives any hint of honey. Content. The last part that is important is the jar. Um, this is a four liter jar. Don't buy a too small jar or you won't fit every, everything. Uh, for the mixture that I have, which is 1.8 liter uh, of liquor, one kilogram of uh, plum, and this five, six hundred grams of sugar, I decided I'll go with a four liter jar. Um, this is somewhat airtight, not completely. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfectly airtight, but uh, just so that no debris gets in. It is better if it is. Uh, so that less oxygen can get in, less debris, uh, but if you don't have an airtight job, it's nothing to worry about. I do recommend to note down when you made it, so you always have a note, and also if you, like me, will going, uh, are going to make uh, ume with different uh, liquors, I will note down what they are made from. Um, they will look pretty similar, so visually you will not be able to tell. One more thing about the jar is um, make sure it's clean wash it and then if you have some alcohol disinfect it as well this will also prevent any bacteria to, to form anything in there or this will also prevent any any gunk that might have remained from the um, building process to get into your umeshu and uh, you will not drink it eventually make sure all your jars are clean and uh, basically you're ready to go so let's get started let's do the process so I have my jar here, I have my uh, plum here, I have my sugar, and uh, I'll have my alcohol as well. So let's get into building our omishu. So first off, you start with a um, little bit of, with a layer of, of the plums. You just uh, place them inside. Try not to throw them in so that they don't get too damaged. And essentially what you do is um, you make uh, layers, you make a layer of of plum, you make a layer of sugar. So let's throw this, this inside. You want to mix them uh, up nice and evenly so that you don't have a thick layer of, of either one um, uh, without without the other. Well, let's get let's get a bit more ume inside. I don't want all the sugar, but I also don't want it to be too sour because then it's also undrinkable. So this is fine. Uh, last step is you open your your alcoholic beverage and just pour it in. Pour everything in. It's going to be open a little bit. So that's it. You seal it. You seal your jar. Close it. And if you um, 
So, and the last step to this is to make uh, to make a note when uh, you when you created this. So this is uh, made on the um, this is made on the twenty twenty one May thirty first, and I will write down as well what this was made of. So this one was made with the um, with the uh, thirty five. So there you have it. It's super easy stuff. You can drink this after um, three months even, but usually uh, people store them for uh, one to three years uh, the ume the plum gets into the alcohol more and, uh, and it gets a much richer taste so thank you for watching if you like to see more videos like, like this subscribe like this video it helps the channel it helps understand what we need and stay tuned for more I guess okay let's see Still drying. This is about half. Let's see how this will turn out. Uh, so the thing with honey is, so the thing with honey is, it's much denser than sugar. So actually, volume-wise, um, you get it looks like far less. Uh, I don't want to have half a kilogram of it, but let's see if I can do with about 200 grams. This is um, maybe not so much. Maybe a little bit more. Half of this should be about 250 grams, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Now let's do the tequila here. This should be very interesting. It's still, still a little bit more. So. Ah. World class tequila used for mission. This is what people um, don't realize. They tend they tend to go cheap on these mixtures, and not realizing they taste much better if it's if it's a good liquor. You know, same with same with uh, glue wine, same with this one. If the liquor is of much better quality, the end product will also be much much nicer. So if you can, don't cheap out on the quality of the liquor. Close this and let's store it away. This one's with Jamaican white rum. There you have it, four jars of umeshu. We're going to wait for about um, at least a few months, but I personally will uh, keep them uh, for about three years, I hope, and I'm going to try them. In the meantime, I'm going to make uh, another set so that I have always three jars to use after three years time. Um, I'm particularly curious how the honey uh, infused umeshu will taste like. Um, it has begun at the beginning it was uh, a little bit um, the honey uh, sedimented a little bit at the bottom but I've mixed it up a few times and right now it looks it looks somewhat fine um, it does seem that the alcohol and honey combination is a bit more dense so the ume is actually floating in there but it has mixed in really well uh, I will give this a few shakes uh, throughout uh, throughout the months and the years and uh, for sure I will have a little bit of a sip um, 
when time comes to uh, to try these things. This might be a problem uh, because the plums might oxidize. I hope this is not the case. We will see in a few months' time. Um, I might just fill this up with more tequila and, and to keep this from happening as well. But uh, I do hope that this will taste nice. Um, in any case, this is super easy. You should go ahead and try it yourself. Um, get one jar, have some fun, uh, taste it, taste it in, in three months, and you have your very own homemade umeshu. So, uh, if you like this video, please click the like button, click the subscribe button, it helps the channel. If you want to say something, if you think I've done something wrong, let us know in the comments below. Every feedback is appreciated. We'll try to do better and more videos. For now, that's it. Thank you very much. And stay tuned for more videos. Over and out. What's up, everybody? It's been about one year since I made the uh, Umeshu. And look how good these have turned out. Um, the color has changed completely. If you remember, they were pretty transparent. And um, all the uh, plums, uh, all the Ume have seeped into the alcohol. Just take a look at how these look like look at that fantastic you can see that, that some of the uh, some of the plum have shriveled a little bit which is normal and have a look at the honey um, honey image check this out so um, it was I think it was quite floating uh, quite a bit last time uh, but uh, they have sunk down I think a part of the reason is that um, that they have um, seeped some of their um, some of their uh, juices into the uh, into the uh, alcohol mixture, so they have become a bit more dense than the mixture. But look at that! There's still some floating at the bottom, so I do mix this up occasionally, and I have had have had a taste of all of these. Um, they taste fairly similar. Um, but I think uh, we have collectively decided that the um, which one was it? Uh, that the white rum, so the Jamaican white rum one, is the best. In any case, so uh, this is what it will look like after one year of storage. Um, a lot of people do it even longer than one year, uh, but it's really good already now. So um, go ahead and uh, have fun with your own. And thank you for watching again and uh, stay tuned.